He stepped into the cave and the world shut its eyes. No sunrise, no sunset, no ticking clock to argue with his heartbeat. Just a man, a rope ladder and a mouth of stone swallowing him whole. Somewhere in France in the 1960s, a scientist decided to disappear on purpose. Not to escape the world, but to understand it. The cave was cold and wet, breathing slowly like a sleeping animal. Water dripped with maddening patience. Darkness pressed against his face until it felt solid. He switched on his lamp and watched the beam vanish after a few metres, as if the cave refused to be known. When he climbed down, he left behind calendars, watches, radio schedules, every reminder of when he was supposed to be alive. At first, he kept habits. He ate when he felt hungry. He slept when he felt tired. He logged his thoughts, spoke into a recorder, called up to the surface to announce when he believed a day had passed. Above ground, a team listened quietly, never correcting him. Their rule was cruel and simple, never tell him the time. Days, or what he thought were days, slipped. Sleep stretched and folded in on itself. Sometimes he slept six hours, sometimes fourteen, sometimes thirty. Without warning, exhaustion would crush him. Other times his mind raced, sharp and electric, while his body refused to rest. Loneliness crept in sideways. The silence wasn't empty, it was loud. Every drip became a metronome. Every breath felt borrowed. He sang to the cave. He argued with himself. He laughed at jokes that echoed back wrong. Slowly, the boundary between thought and voice blurred. Then something stranger happened. His internal clock began to drift. When he finally reported what he believed was day 65, the surface team froze. He was wrong. Not by hours. By weeks. His body had invented its own rhythm. Long days, stretching far beyond 24 hours. Time, it turned out, wasn't only written in the sky. It was written in flesh. The deeper he went into isolation, the more human he became. Fear sharpened. Wonder deepened. He spoke about moments of pure clarity followed by pits of despair. Without society to mirror him, he met himself raw and unedited. When he finally emerged months later, blinking into sunlight like a newborn, he carried proof etched into his exhaustion. Humans do not merely follow time. We create it. Our biology hums with ancient rhythms, stubborn and fragile, trying to keep order when the universe goes silent. And maybe that's the real discovery, that even buried in darkness, cut off from the world, the human body keeps counting, even when the mind forgets what the numbers mean. If this story fascinated you, please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment below to help the channel grow.